Recently, I had a question on my live show. Why acne during my period? Every other month, the ovaries take turn in ovulation. So this month, it might be the left ovary. Next month, it might be the right ovary. And that correlates sometimes with acne that develops on the jawline and one side one month, the next month it's on the alternate side, which is actually quite interesting. But let's talk about what actually causes the acne during menstruation when you're having your period. If we look at the entire month, we have several things happening. At day 14, when you're ovulating, you have the highest spike of estrogen. And about a week later, you get the highest spike of progesterone. But during menstruation, you have the lowest amount of estrogen and the lowest amount of progesterone. So the question is, why are you getting acne if these two are low? Well, there's another hormone involved, and that is called testosterone. Now, testosterone is a type of androgen, and that is a male hormone, but even women have a certain amount of it. But if there's too much of it in the female body, you start getting facial hair, acne, hair loss, a deeper voice, things like that. Now, the ovaries produce several types of androgens, which can then turn into testosterone or DHT, okay? Also, your adrenal glands also make androgens, which can also turn into testosterone, but the majority or the lion's share is produced by the ovaries. So what's happening with acne is you're getting too much testosterone for the amount of estrogen and progesterone that's in your body. So we have this ratio that just shows too much testosterone. And testosterone and DHT enlarges the sebaceous gland or the sweat gland. And that can then release more sebum or more oil, and there can be bacteria involved, and then that results in acne. So acne just occurs if there's too much androgen. You see this in puberty, you see this in another condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome. In that case, you have too much insulin that's converted to androgen. In this case, it's a little bit different because it's cyclic. In other words, it doesn't happen all month long. It happens during this period of time. So we know there's just an imbalance. There's too little estrogen and progesterone and just too much testosterone. Now, the big question is, what do you do about this? There's a really, really good remedy that can help you, and it's called DIM. DIM is a super concentrated cruciferous um, product. The, there's certain phytochemicals in cruciferous vegetables, and DIM is like consuming two pounds of these vegetables in one pill. So it is an androgen antagonist. So it helps lower androgen, and it helps with acne. It helps with cystic acne on your back. So it can be very helpful. Now, DIM is also helpful in balancing estrogen. So it acts as a phytoestrogen that can increase estrogen, and it also can eliminate excessive amounts of estrogen too. Now, it does not give you more estrogen that you already have. It helps to balance the ratios of good versus bad estrogen. So, so it's very beneficial for women that are fighting breast cancer, and sometimes they're concerned about um, it being a phytoestrogen that can increase more estrogen, but it really helps the ratio. So it helps to balance both estrogen and androgen. Now, there's two other hormones uh, that may be involved that you might want to look at. One is cortisol, because cortisol is a hormone produced by the adrenals. And a lot of times when people go through stress, that can generate more adrenal hormones and more testosterone. So you want to monitor your stress level. And then, of course, we have insulin. If you were to help to normalize your insulin levels, that would also help to normalize testosterone as well. And that's done with keto and intermittent fasting. If you're new to my channel, I put a link down below. You definitely want to check that out because that can help not just with your skin, but with weight and many, many other conditions. Anyway, that's what causes acne. And this is the recommendation. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press the button below and I will keep you in the know. Hey, that rhymes.